Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, let's do a random ranking today. Let's go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, and if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. All right, you know what? I don't think I've grabbed from up here. Maybe I have and I'm just forgetting. Let's get one from up here. Maybe one from all the way over here. Don't worry, I'm still with you. I'm still here. Okay, I'm back. Got some, got some uh, breakables over there that I don't want to break. Let's go all the way back here. Lean back the chair a bit. Can I get it? There we go. Ooh, I feel a snapper case. Let's see what we got. What are we ranking today? All right. Yes. Oh, what do I do here? I got two movies. Okay, actually, I think I know how I'm going to handle this. Okay, so that snapper case I was referring to was A Mighty Wind, a Christopher Guest film. Do you like these movies? I know I sure do. This one's not my favorite, though. Uh, my favorite is probably for your consideration. Is that what it's called? For some reason that sounded wrong for a second. Yeah, for your consideration about a movie that gets the tiniest bit of Oscar buzz and the cast... It really goes to their head, and then they start changing the type of people that they are uh, only because of this Oscar buzz, and it sort of takes place during awards season. Um, I, I really like that one. Uh, Best in Show, a lot of people really like that one. Um, gosh, this one I, I know uh, is well-loved. Um, I went on a few dates with a girl who loved Waiting for Guffman. She's kind of actually who got me into Christopher Guest. That was her favorite movie of all time, Waiting for Guffman. Um, she showed it to me and I was kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like Spinal Tap, um, but more soft, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess she's kind of how I got in into Christopher Guest. And I, I do like this one, but it's not my favorite. I do remember though, um, I can't remember his name offhand, but this guy right here, you might know him from like Coneheads. Um, he's also in some X-Files episodes. He's married to um, Martha Kent, uh, the person who plays Martha Kent in Smallville. She was also Lana Lang in um, the Christopher Reeves superhero movies, or Superman movies. They are married in real life, and they wrote a song for this movie and were both nominated for an Academy Award. Uh, but yeah, I, I do really like this movie. It's not my favorite of the Christopher Guest films, but I, I, I like it quite a bit. Eugene Levy, right there. Catherine O'Hare, right there. Um, you know them from Schitt's Creek, if you watch that show. But yeah, great, great... Uh, Great movie. Those are fun mockumentaries. I, I like those. And next we have True Lies, which is, you know, the James Cameron movie that I probably, I know a lot of people love it because it's like a great action film, but I think I like his much larger scale films more. So this one for me, like it's still good, but I, I feel bad that I don't have it as high just because it seems like everybody likes it. And I just, I don't know for me, it's like lower end um, Cameron for me. I just, I don't know. I think I, I need larger scope maybe from him, I think. But um, yeah, uh, this is this is still good. I remember, so I'd already seen this movie, I think at my mom's house. And then at my dad's, we were watching it with my stepmom's family. And if I was just watching this with my dad, he wouldn't have done anything. But... <laughs> We were watching it with my stepmom's family. And when Jamie Lee Curtis starts doing like her exotic lap dance, he I remember my dad standing up um, in this room full of family. And then he like looks over at me and he's like, hey, come here. And then like, I don't know, takes me to the kitchen and then like cuts me a slice of pie and then we eat some pie or something. But he was trying to get me out of the room, you know, to, I guess, make it seem like he was doing the right thing or something because I feel like if we were just watching it at home 
uh, you wouldn't have thought anything of it, but I think it was the company we were in. He was like, hey, let's, uh, let's go to the kitchen. And then we had some pumpkin pie. Uh, but yeah, love that little memory. I'll always remember my, my dad's expression. Here, come on. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so this is the one I wasn't sure what I was going to do with because this actually has two movies. It has Ghost Rider 1 and Ghost Rider 2, but I also own just Ghost Rider 1 on its own. So this one, I purchased the pack so that I had both, well, so that I had the second movie. So it just so happens that the first Ghost Rider movie is on this disc. I purchased it for the sequel, so we will rank this as if it is Spirit of Vengeance. Um, Spirit of Vengeance was not very good. Um, I mean, really, I don't think I like either one of these movies very much. It has some really cool visuals here and there, but I don't know. It just, they never really full, fully clicked for me. I think the previews, at least the preview for the first one, the, the trailer, we used to call them previews. Nobody calls them previews anymore, right? Who, who still calls them previews? Um, the trailer for the original one I remember was really cool when he's going on that jump and then kind of turns into a rag doll and then, um, I don't know. I, I thought all that was cool. I remember really thinking the trailer was good and then the movie I was just kind of like, oh yeah, that was, that was good. And then the sequel, I just felt like we were just moving from like bad guy to bad guy. Is that maybe the first one too? I don't know. It just, it didn't, it was, it was like trying to be more maybe artsy or avant-garde or something like that, which I appreciated, but I still just felt like it wasn't, it wasn't good. Um, but I, I did like that they gave Cage a little bit more free reign. Um, but yeah, ultimately still didn't care for it that much. And I think I've only seen it the one time. Okay, so how are we going to rank these? You know what? Definitely, I'm definitely putting Ghost Rider 2 at the end. And then, hot take, I guess. Hot take. Uh, I'm going to put True Lies at the end, and then I'm going to put A Mighty Wind at number one. Just the Christopher Guest movies are are, are good. I like them. Um, this one, you know, not one of my most watched. Probably my... Actually, it might be my second most watched. I'm trying to think. Uh, for your consideration. And then, maybe this. Because I don't think I've seen Dog Show, or Best in Show very much. Waiting for Guffman, I've only seen the one time, that girl. And then, well, what else is there? I, I know I'm missing one. Um, but maybe this one, this one's it. Uh, second most watched. Okay, so yeah, this is my ranking. A Mighty Wind, then True Lies, then Ghost Rider 2, Spirit of Vengeance. So my question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.